some of my lunch, but before we get into that, I need you to do something for me. What's that? I need you to give this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below, baby, and don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's pray. Almighty God, bless everyone that's watching this video. Bless my food. Just bless us all, Lord, to these times and see us through to the light. Amen. All right, guys. Like I said, as you can see up front, I have a nice uh, chicken breast fried up. You know what I mean? Give it the spin. Give it the, the whole little showcase for you. All right. I got that on some Texas toast. I just got mayo, lettuce, and tomato. And if Miss Shan is so nice, she can come in here and be the loving lady that she is that loves to help me out and uh, give me some hot sauce out that bag over there from um, the barbecue spot. Ah, she's so nice. She came in. Hey, y'all. It's actually on that door over there. So, look. I got finished making my lunch. I got my soup in the bag getting hot. And then I had it sitting on top of my cheese. But I think I got to drain some of this water off. So, bear with me, guys. But how's it going today? How are you guys doing how's it going your way uh, once again we are up we got another day to you know just another light another day <laughs> hold on now I'm missing one thing is there anywhere where I mean do you see that seasoning pack no there it is Never okay be, uh, spitting with the devil today okay so devil spit barbecue sauce so we are playing with the fire. Well, I was gonna do hot sauce, but the devil spit is a little hot. All right, so we got our bag back here. I just put that up there. Uh, this is technically a old school, how do you pronounce it with the M? The mature, what kind of new ramen? The mature, maturing, you know. The ones with M, I put on a pack. The ones you get for like 25 cent a pack. We're going cheap. So we got our seasoning back in there. And then we're gonna add the rest of our stuff. So on this plate over here, we got some chopped up sausage, jalapenos, green peppers, some carrots, uh, some green onions. Uh, and we're gonna throw this in the bag, guys. So we're gonna mix all that in this bag. And like I said, I just got a chicken flavor, because it really don't matter on the flavor if it's chicken or beef. They all just are flavors to me. <laughs> They don't really like having nothing special to them. So we're going to throw all in the bag. Comment below if you ever made your soup this way. Over here I do have some liquid cheese. I'm going to add that to this bag as well. I'm probably going to save a squirt for the good old chicken sandwich. So let's get some cheese going on this chicken sandwich, guys. I'm going to get you this first bite. Just bear with me. we got to make this deliciousness. Goodness, I don't shoot. Can't get it to squirt. Well, I'm gonna take that right and get. Alright, so we got some cheese. That's good enough. I'll spread it around, make it look like it's more. Alright, so we got all that in the bag. And then there's one other grit. I usually like a chopped up pickle, but I don't have that. But I still like the pickle juice. So pickle juice is also going in this bag. Oh, I forgot one other ingredient. I gotta add my crushed chips. You do that now? I thought you used that to answer. I'm going to put it a little. Uh, it kind of just adds. I'm going to say something for the top, though. 
but I like to put them in there too. Usually I have a little bit more. So all right, we got all our ingredients in the bag, guys. Now we just gotta incorporate it. As Ms. Shan would say, incorporate it. We're gonna mix this, this, this stuff up. Interesting way to make You know what I'm ramen. saying? Well, this is how you make your ramen. You call this a slam. A ramen slam. So we're going to mix this up nice and good. And the one thing I like about putting it in the bag is the bag. Let me get a little air outside. You know, it makes the noodles. Like, you would think this is like three packs of noodles in here, but really it's like really just one and a half. But the bag makes the noodles just kind of expand. Is that right, Chef? Yeah. So y'all looking at that chicken sandwich. I'm gonna let this sit for just a few more minutes. I'm gonna take a bite of this sandwich. I gotta get some devil spit. All right, let's get some of that hot sauce on there. That looks like a nice hot sauce, actually. You know, just in case you can't see it on that camera, there you go. All right. Let's transfer over. Let's get to this first bite. Right. Actually, let me let me take a thumbnail. All right. You said it actually looked kind of nice. Uh huh. I'm far away. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It tastes nice too. <laughs> That's a bowl. Probably could have drained it a little bit more, but that's cool. All right, let's get all that out. Yeah, get all of that. <laughs> it looks pretty. You know, that's how it looks, guys. Hopefully, y'all can see that. And then we're gonna top it off with some last little chips. And then I'm gonna be really disappointed in myself because I didn't bring anything to eat up with me. Hey, you see a fork? Just All right, I found me a, a plastic fork. I'm gonna Shan hook me up. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I can taste the jalapenos, the sausage. I guess the only thing I wish I'd have drained it a little bit more. I'm about the pickle. That's what I'm interested about. Hmm? The pickle? Mm-hmm. I don't know. The pickle just tastes good now. Mm-hmm. You had pickle when I had it the other day. I just didn't put as much. Mm. Yeah, pickle. I mean, it's a lot of things you can put in here. So many different variations to a ramen slam, you know. Taste it, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get another bite off this sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the top won't stay on. That sound is good. You want some chopsticks? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, eat a little bit, guys. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Well, my sausage on my meat today were just hot dogs. I did fry them and then cut them up. Well, you know that's the difference, right? What? Hot dog and sausage. Well, yeah. Well, usually because I usually would have summer sausage or something. But for a comment below, any different ways that you eating your soups or well, how you like it. Like, I think I possibly ate a ramen every way that you possibly can. But I'm pretty sure there's some ways I haven't. Like, have you ever... 
took a pack of ramen and just kind of broke it up and put the seasoning in there and just ate it dry like a chip. Do that too. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I think I heard of it before like that. You know, one thing about ramen is just is it doesn't have the no flavor until you add it. So oh, yeah, I used the ramen, you know, my like Chinese chicken noodle salad. Mm-hmm. It's like a little crispy. You yeah. Just toast them up in the pan. I just wanna take it out this bowl. I say you just take it to the head. Like take your bowl to the head and just say like, <laughs> I can drink some of the juice off. Any noodles that might come in your mouth, you just eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I would say I never ate my noodles by drinking them. Yeah. That worked though. Yeah, see, with my noodles, I always need like a fork and a spoon because I gotta stop up all the juice. <laughs> or I need one of those, uh, those big ladle spoons. Can you see that big, though? But, like, Have to eat it like that, but I guess <laughs> I didn't have a fork. That's what I had to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I probably can go for some more devil spit on my chicken. It wasn't as bad. Hell, yeah, let's just drop oh, it over in there. Let's get dangerous. That sounds good. That's, that sounds good too, actually. Let's put some of that devil spit in this soup, baby. Uh oh. That's the first ever devil spit ramen noodle. <laughs> devil spit. We well, you know they always name. call it. What's the name? The devil's piss. That's the devil's spit. We actually got the devil's spit, baby. <laughs> Did you hear me? I said it was a devil's spit slam. A devil's split slam. Yeah, devil spit. Spit. Slam. I said split like it's yeah, banana. Yeah, say that fast three times. Mm -hmm. Devil spit slam. Mm-hmm. And actually, um. That seemed like that might have made that it. That gave it a nice flavor. Yeah, it seemed like that, that gave it a real good flavor. A little nice kick to it. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a nice uh, barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I like that. Famous Dave's. If you made this part of the video, boy, you ought to put you some of that devil spit, that famous Dave's, in your ramen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually had some with my chicken I was eating earlier. I had some of the regular, like the sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. Dave's got some good barbecue sauce. I like Dave's. I do. People would say I should do more mukbangs versus challenges. What do you guys like to see? Comment below. But if there is a challenge you want to see me do, I still do them, but it must be like a man versus food style challenge. Like where I can test my limits, you know? Well, unless you got some money on the line, then hey, I'm there. <laughs> but at the same time, I want to know some of like the basic simple meals that you guys like to eat. Like, what's your go-to meal? Like, what is your comfort meal? We definitely had one of Miss Shan's meals the other day that was delicious. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorites. That homestyle chicken. Fried chicken and gravy, pretty much. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, like I said, it's a comfort meal. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot. No. But if it comes out right, man, it's worth a million bucks. Mm -hmm. That's true. And a comfort meal, too, just kind of takes you to a place where you felt felt comfort and just gives you a nice feeling, you know? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite comfort food? I know it's not the slam. No, oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, like, easy to make, though? Well, uh, yeah. I said besides meatloaf, because I feel like that's your favorite food, but that's what you like, huh? Tacos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's some straight ground beef tacos. Easiest probably, that's probably like 
one of the easiest meals to make is just some regular old ground beef taco. Mm -hmm. Unless you want y'all fancy and elevate your taco, but if you just doing our basic, I want to eat something real quick. I got some pound of ground beef. Tacos or spaghetti, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm to go to. Yeah. Spaghetti is definitely that stretcher meal. Well, it used to be. <laughs> I have you eating hell out of stuff. Yeah, sometimes too, I would say I, I would uh, love like, you know, the cube steaks mm -hmm. and rice and gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, I had an apartment early in life, so it was like, I really knew how, and I've been shopping at Aldi's for a long time. It's always been my store. But I used to go into Aldi's and spend like $35 and eat off that for like two weeks. Uh -huh. I wouldn't come out with nothing but like bags of pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, ground beef, of course, bag of chicken. You always gonna get the basic stuff. But back then, I was grabbing, like I said, the quarter legs and stuff like that. I didn't really know just to buy the breasts like they are now. Uh -huh. It was always cheaper to get the legs and stuff. But yeah, I always have my go-to, the cheese, the milk, some period. But I really love those pizza rolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me get to this here. That's like so many different things going on here, but it's still good. I guess I think about the water. A lot of that pickle, the pickle juice liquid at the bottom. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't see. Did you put water in the bag too? I mean, it was the water from cooking it, but then I poured it out in the bowl over here. Oh, okay. So those noodles actually started off hard. I didn't see over there. Stop. Well, I had them already in the bag. I didn't stop. Yeah. They're probably in the bag like 15 whole minutes over here. And that's how I was keeping the cheese warm because it's under the hot water. Mm -hmm. This was a decent little lunch bag. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I've just been drinking water over here. Leave it like it's almost time, baby. It's almost time. It is almost time, but I'm going to try to do something fun before I get up out of here. Time for what? For them to get this video a thumbs up. For them to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Excuse me, I got a burp again. Whew. Yeah, guys, this was a nice little snack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to try it. See if I'm crazy for adding pickle juice to my soup. Other than that, I'm Big Belly Bob. Peace.